Yeah, Chief David Zach, mayor in Asheville, tells me this is basically um, the perfect storm. He said crime in his city is up. More people are moving there, and they just don't have the means to pay these officers enough to really make up for having one of the highest costs of living in that state. Cities across the U.S. continue to grapple with how to fight violent crime. Atlanta, Baltimore, New Orleans, Washington, D.C., Dallas, Phoenix, and Denver, all reporting more murders in 2022 than the previous year. New York City ended last year with a 21% rise in aggravated assaults and a 39% rise in robberies. All of this with fewer men and women signing up to protect and serve. And attrition is not just a problem for larger police departments. Here in Asheville, um, the, the cr crisis is a little bit more uh, intense than maybe some cities across America. David Zack has been in law enforcement for nearly four decades. And for the past three years, he served as the chief of police for the city of Asheville, North Carolina. Zack says since June 2020, more than 140 officers have walked away from the force. Some are leaving the profession entirely. Others are leaving for other agencies. Some of the nationwide exodus can be chalked up to fallout from the pandemic intense scrutiny and calls for reform, particularly after the police killing of George Floyd in 2020. Chief Zach says while some Asheville officers have been replaced on any given day, we're operating daily down about 40% of staff. And those who are working are burnt out. In Asheville, Zach says compensation is a big reason for the hemorrhaging of officers from the department. Forbes reports the national average salary for a police officer in America is about $67,000 a year. In Asheville, the starting salary for a trainee is about $42,500 a year, with a base salary of around $46,000. In Omaha, the department is down more than 100 officers. Anthony Connor, president of the Omaha Police Officers Association, agrees one way to attract new applicants is by offering a competitive salary from day one. We have to make sure that we're competitive with our starting pay, but also with our with our um, with our top pay, so that way we can retain officers. To attract more applicants in Philadelphia and Phoenix, departments are offering signing bonuses. In Austin, after severely defunding the department, the city council approved a four percent increase in pay for all officers and cadets. To try to solve this problem on the national level, is you have to make sure your current officers are happy. You have to try to build morale. The New York Times reports 2022 saw the highest number of NYPD officers resign in two decades. Sergeant Connor says a trend in the profession sees officers in big cities like New York leaving for smaller towns amid aggressive recruitment efforts to poach those who are unhappy. If they're sick of their city that, that attacks them and criticizes them, cut their budget, that has not happened in Omaha, we'll take them all. Chief Zach says while some of the criticism placed on law enforcement is warranted, he hopes the negative stories won't deter good applicants from wanting to join the profession. You know, you look at what happened in Memphis, obviously, the response in Uvalde, but then you got these guys from Nashville go in and, you know, change the narrative once again. And, and Chief Zach tells me something that they're doing in Asheville is called civility training. That's where cops are actually um, in a program. They're sitting down with, um, you know, everyday citizens who live in that community and they're talking about real life solutions that everyone feels safe with at the end of the day. Back to you.